Welcome to Turbo Mini Tech and today's quickie build. I'm going to show you how to make these rather snazzy projector style uh, headlights. Right, so what do you need? You need a pair of these. Uh, these are from Huddersfield Mini Spares. They're crystal coated yellow headlamps. You'll also need a set of bowls. You could use your old ones, but you might as well put a new pair in while you're at it. Clear up some of that crust behind the, uh, the edges. You'll need a pair of projector headlamps. Now, these take the H1 bulbs, and they have the uh, actuator for uh, full beams as well. These are H1 HID, high intensity discharge bulbs, and they're, um, they're ballast, which has to go somewhere near there as well. And of course, you'll also need a nice cup of tea. You'll also need a tiger seal or similar, screwdrivers, a drill, a Dremel or similar, and a marker pen. Right, let's get to it, shall we? Maybe a sip first. Okay, so first step, take it apart. So, rip the top off. Now you see the uh, large hole at the bottom next to my thumb, that's where the side light goes. That's going to stay as the bottom. Now I want to remove the central um, sort of light guard thing. Uh, there's two screws up here. Um, we are taking this off anyway, uh, but we might as well remove them while we're at it. Just uh, pull the three screws out. and lever out the metal part. It is easy, honest. Okay. Bit of a tidy. This is the uh, sort of inner cowling that needs to now be embedded into the light. Now you'll note the lights I've bought have a plastic bowl. That's important. Don't attempt to do this with metal. It will end in tears. So place where it is is kind of vaguely where it's going to be, but the other way up and further in. So what I'm going to do, now I've done this before, so I know where this, where this goes, ish. Mark approximately 12 millimeters from the edge of the uh, the vertical part, if you see what I mean. All the way around. It doesn't need to be accurate. At this point, we just need to remove the top. Or should I say back. Right, straightforward. Put a... Uh Nice sharp drill bit in the Dremel. And I'm going to pull it sideways, which will cut through it. Pull it back off, and there we go. So basically, we now need to make that hole bigger, slowly, to a point where the, um, the projector light will fit. At this point you can see it's clearly too small of a hole. So we need to use a sanding drum, thus, on the end of my Dremel. Just basically go at it and keep trying the, uh, the part until it fits. Under no circumstances, though, touch the inside of the glass or the um, inside of the reflector with your fingers. Once we're at this point where it's a nice tight press fit, that's where you want to be. Press in, 
Next, we want to make sure it's absolutely level. Absolutely level. So I'm just using it on a flat desk with a set of calipers, just making sure that the, the inner part, as is now, is properly level with the bowl. And it is. Right, now we need to glue it in. So I'm using the Tiger Seal PU adhesive. Just on a screwdriver. You could probably pipe it on properly, um, but my nozzle's set, so I'll go with this method. It works. Gets into the, uh, the gap nicely as well. So I'll put a nice thick wad all the way around. Now I'm going to smooth it round. Should also mention that before I started putting this stuff on, I gave the the edge of the cowling and the edge of the uh, bowl a degrease with some uh, panel wipe, just to be fully sure that it's actually going to stick. Once this stuff sets, it is absolutely solid. Brilliant stuff. If you've not used it before, it's good. But you need to use the whole tube. Uh, oh, he'll be wasting most of a tube. So while you're waiting for that to set, which is going to be, mm, let's say, a day, you might as well drill out the back of the bowl itself to allow the back of the bulb to protrude. It will stick out a bit, and the wires will come out the back this way. You'll need to figure some way of protecting this from water ingress. I am going to use part of a steering rack gator in order to do this. Haven't done it here because I haven't got it yet. Right now, assuming you've got the cowling in the right way, I should have mentioned that the and this set, it has to be the right way up um, when it's when it's put in uh, because the, the holes are handed up and down. Luckily, I got it right. Again, note the big hole where the side light goes. That's the bottom. Straightforward screw on. Four screws. In this case, I've also put the uh, the outer ring on. Now to simply put the light in the bowl. Straightforward through the hole. And mount as normal. Job done.